So, that geologist, Heston83, I have to wait for the laughter to stop. Okay, that geologist finally got around to naming the geologic formation that he was talking about in his video. And it came as a shock to me. He said that the layer he's talking about is the Navajo sandstone layer. I thought he said in his original video that there was no fossils in that layer. But the Navajo sandstone layer has a hell of a lot of fossils in it. Not only uh, fossils of skeletal remains, and of not only dinosaurs, but um, uh, ancient uh, extinct lizards and extinct uh, reptiles and all that shit. It also has the feet prints of dinosaurs in it. Uh, so I can't imagine why he would claim there's no fossils in the Navajo sandstone lair when we know damn well there's a great many. I will put a URL over here for just one page of many, a great many web pages out there that not only list the fossils that have been found in the Navajo sandstone layer, but show some really fine uh, photographs, images of those fossils. So how is it possible that a geologist would go into the field and examine the Navajo sandstone layer and not know of the great many fossils that were found in that lair. You know what really cracks me up? The Navajo sandstone lair it has that distinctive red color due to iron oxide. That iron oxide leached into the, the gr sand grits and you know cemented it all together. And it did that in um, <coughs> Uh, pre-existing canyons and arroyos and streams and whatnot and then all that filled in with more sand and it all became compressed until it turned into sandstone and then weathering came along and washed away the non-iron oxide sand because the iron oxided sand is a lot harder and you end up with these sheer cliff walls, you know, sometimes more than a thousand feet high. So when this geologist comes along and says, you know, the, it was quickly formed and, you know, it didn't, he's not, he said he wasn't going to say it was only in 6,000 years. I wonder where he got that figure. The erosion for the non-iron oxide uh, formation, all that has been worn away over the eons, leaving the harder, redder formation behind. So not only does this creationist idiot um, look at this formation and not realize that it is an ancient one, but the very formation uh, that he is looking at could only have formed after the material around the Navajo sandstone uh, layer weathered away uh, a great, great, long, long time. Now, I'm sitting, I'm, I have my ass sitting right on the uh, Colorado Plateau right now, and I can see the Navajo sandstone layer right out my window. And I can't see the bottom layer, but the Navajo sandstone layer and all the many, many, many layers above it are visible. Some of those layers are ancient seabeds, ancient seabeds above the Navajo sandstone layer. Those ancient seas, um, the sea rushed in when the land uh, subsided. And then the land, millions of years later, rose and the seas dried up and you leave the uh, marine layer. And you've got uh, more sandstone above that ancient seabed layer. And then you have another ancient seabed layer. So on and so on and so on. So you get, um, you get a, there's a couple layers above those layers that are thick with um, gypsum and, um, limestone from ancient seabed. Of course, those, there's uh, coral beds where the shallow sea was above that layer. 
we're talking many, many, many millions and millions of millions of years. Hundreds of millions of years for these layers. A geologist would know these things. A creationist would not. 